Welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Man, I got some pest problems in the winter garden. Let's go take a look. It has been unseasonably warm here in December. It's December the 10th today. And this week we've had temperatures in the 80s Fahrenheit. And uh, well, we got a cold front coming through today, tonight. Uh, it's already cooling off a little bit. But by, in two days, it's gonna be back up in the 80s, they're saying. So it's unseasonably warm. In a winter garden, that means, wait for the wind, that means a number of things. It means that my plants are gonna to wanna to grow vigorously and maybe even bolt, but it also means the pest pressure is real. Let me show you what, I got, what I'm dealing with here. Over here, I've got daikon radishes, daikon radishes. I've got some tatsoi, which is a green. Look. Who wants to eat a green that looks like that? I've got pest problems, and a lot of this is uh, mollusk damage, but I think some of these holes are also caterpillars. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, there's a lot of eating going on in here. There's a lot, that's caterpillar damage for sure, and I don't know what's eating them. I can't find them. I look down in here and I can't see anything. So what you wanna do when you have a problem like this is look at the shape of the holes. Small circular holes like this are almost always snails and slugs, things like this. That hole right there is likely a snail or a slug hole. Holes that have a ragged edge, like this one here, or where was that other one I just saw? Like this over here. That with the ragged edge, that's probably caterpillar damage. I can't find any caterpillars though. They probably come out at night, they're probably down in the soil and the leaf litter down there. Those are gonna be really hard to find. Look at this leaf here. That is a leaf that has been decimated probably by a caterpillar. That does not look like typical slug damage. Slugs generally don't eat out to the edge of a leaf. They, they eat a little hole. So, hmm. Let's deal with the slugs and snails first. And I'll show you, I've got some slug and snail damage over here as well got these little holes I don't know man let's see let's investigate what do we have here what I'm looking for is caterpillar poop which is called frass and it'll be little greenish looking balls and they'll be kind of wet and nasty and I'm not seeing any of that that's a leaf miner you get those no matter what around here I'm not seeing any signs of caterpillars what is that Hmm. Let's pick that leaf and take a look at it. What we have here are aphids. The beginning of an aphid infestation. And I know where these are coming from. That's not encouraging. You want to get out and look at your leaves. Look at that aphids down in there, right there. We'll smush those, smush those. Yeah, not encouraging. There's some aphids. We're gonna have tons of aphids, I can see. This is the year of the aphid. So not only do we have aphids down in here, we've got something that's munching on our leaves. And yeah, we're gonna have to come out here and spray. There's a lot of damage down there. Look at that, aphids. So in our greens this year, we have aphids. We have some sort of munching caterpillar and we have mollusks. That's because the weather is very warm. We get a nice cool snap maybe just a little frost kill off those aphids you want to see something really gross compared to its counterparts in the garden these two plants are stunted and the one down there is not looking real healthy either let me show you some footage from a couple days ago check out my brassicas cabbages are looking great but this broccoli that broccoli and the one way over there at the corner, they're not doing so well. So I got down on my hands and knees and started looking. Check out this leaf. Isn't that awful? That's ah, horrifying. We have here appear to be aphids. Now the problem with spraying aphids is that a cabbage leaf or a brassica leaf repels water. It doesn't stick. So we've got to get something on there as a suffocant, as a... Uh, break that surface tension so we can coat those guys I know they say you can just spray them off but 
I need to kill them and be sure. Isn't that awful? So since spraying these off and uh, working, uh, working my hands over these and eliminating them by hand, this leaf looks clear, but I've still got little pockets of them in here. Isn't that awful? Isn't that just disgusting? Most of the aphids on this plant are now dead, but there's some right there, and we can just deal with those. I'm gonna have to wash my hands, and it's kind of gross, but man, aphids, you don't want them in your garden. All right, let's investigate the rest. Yeah, most of these have died because we sprayed them. I sprayed them with a, a Spinosad. Now, it wouldn't stick very well because, you know, these cabbage leaves repel water. Yes, yeah, so you've got some there. I'm afraid this plant is probably too stunted. I'm going to give it another week and see if it can't recover. But uh, if it can't recover, we'll plug something else in here, some quick growing something like a lettuce or something, but these leaves have been totally decimated. You can see there are some dead aphids on there. They're black now. These were green aphids, but uh, man, what are you gonna do, man? I've even got aphids on the top side here. They're everywhere. Down in here. Yeah, I'm afraid that uh, this plant's a goner. Here's my problem. My sprayer busted. I had a cheap handheld sprayer that I was using to spray these and it busted it won't hold pressure the check valve has popped out so I have another one on order but it's not going to be here until uh, maybe Sunday or Monday so I've got a few more days to wait and you know with this weather I don't know if I've got that kind of time before these pests really decimate my garden but I do have one thing let's uh, let's deal with the slugs and snails for control of mollusks and slugs and snails all you need is some slug bait. It's iron phosphate. It's not harmful to you, to pets, or anything. It actually adds a little bit of benefit to the soil. But iron phosphate will be eaten by slugs and snails. It'll kill them dead. And these pellets, they go on, you know, under many kind of names. Sluggo is a name brand. This is just garden safe snail and slug bait. Iron phosphate pellets. We're just going to spread some of this around. And hopefully that'll knock back our pests. It's mainly my tat soy that's getting attacked. So I'm gonna put an extra heavy dusting of this stuff on there. Put some over here where I see some damage. Get them up under those cabbage leaves down near the part where the soil exists. I've discovered slugs and snail damage on my uh, kohlrabi and these leafy greens over in here so I'm gonna spread some around as well doesn't hurt to be safe one way to get rid of aphids is to blast them off with water and it's real effective because these are pretty Pretty lame bugs. They uh, they don't handle a lot of uh, physical pressure very well. You knock them off, they'll probably die. Uh, they don't usually find their way back on the plant. So I'm going to take a jet of water and I'm going to go under the leaves. And just spray them off. Wherever I find them, just spray them off. Check my other plants while I'm out here. Now typically that will deal with the aphids. Just spraying them off like that will usually deal with them. So we'll have to pay, pay close attention to what's going on here. But it's, it's not really feasible to go and spray off the tatsoi. That's just too many leaves. So uh, I don't know. I think Spinosad is going to be the solution over there. All right, I want to show you how effective this is. Look at this one leaf that I've pulled off. It's covered in aphids. Now 
no more aphids. So generally speaking, these uh, aphids will die on the ground. They're not attached to their leaf. They don't have anything to eat. They've been physically pummeled by water. Most of them are dead and the rest of them are probably going to die. Now you need to keep, keep on top of your plants. Look at all the damage they've caused to that leaf. You flip it over and you can see the leaf is not a healthy leaf. But water, just spraying water on them can be an effective control. There's a lot of aphids down there now. Hope they're dying. Oh man, not encouraging. Well, the water blast uh, at least got the aphids physically removed and we'll see if they come back in any force. Obviously, we probably missed some. There's some in, over in my tatsoi. I'm probably gonna have to spray those with a uh, organic insecticide. I'm gonna use Spinosad. That seems to have worked on uh, some of the other ones I sprayed earlier this week before my sprayer broke. Uh, you don't have to use Spinosad. You could just use a soap mix and that'll coat them. Uh, you can use uh, neem oil. Um, any kind of organic insecticide will kill an aphid. Like I said, they're, they're pretty much weaklings. Um, they suck. They literally suck the juices out of the leaves and that kills the plant. So, <clears throat> well, I'll give a week for that broccoli plant and I'll see if it'll uh, improve and put on new growth and, and look, look like it'll vigor up a bit. But I, I don't have high hopes for it. If, if that doesn't come back in a week, I'm gonna put some quick growing lettuce in there, something I can harvest pretty quickly and uh, just cut that whole section out of uh, weed cloth and put some lettuce down. Um, <clears throat> next week we'll have germination temperatures for lettuce. Um, it's Like I said, it's unseasonably warm and I can get some return for that uh, investment on that patch of soil. Uh, but man, those, those aphids are so frustrating. Uh, they get all over the place. There's many different species. You can have green ones, red ones, brown ones, black ones, whatever. I've seen white ones as well. And they will just get under there and you won't see them because they live on the underside of the leaf. So always go through your garden and check the undersides of your leaves. Now the caterpillar problem I'm having um, in my tat soy. Here's how you kill caterpillars real quick. I had army worms this year and I had grapevine. Um, let me wait for the wind to pass over. I'm uh, not using my camera today. I'm using my phone because uh, it's less risky if I got water on it. So. Yeah, so the way to kill uh, soft body chewing caterpillars is with BT. It's a bacterial organic uh, insecticide. And if I spray that tatsoi with that BT, that's probably the way to go. Um, it will kill, probably kill aphids too, I need to look at it, but it will kill any caterpillars that are in there. As soon as they start eating, it'll be done for them. Hey, thanks for joining me on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I hope that you're having good gardening and not being plagued by pests. Uh, 2021 has been the year of pestilence in this garden and it continues into the winter garden but we'll get it under control it might take a week or two but we will get it under control and i'll give you updates as we go so thanks for joining me happy gardening to you we'll talk to you next time bye bye <music>